This is the sound of southwestern Virginia deciduous forest. Listen to that. It can actually be deafening. The sound is made by cicadas, katydids, and crickets. And this episode is going to be about the katydid. Most people recognize the two or three or four pulse song of the true katydid. And you can hear it in the background saying, Katie did, Katie didn't, Katie did, Katie didn't. But a lot of people, while they've heard the Katie did, they've never seen the true Katie did, the real culprit behind the loud night signs. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. This is the culprit of that almost deafening sound you hear at night, particularly in August, September, and well into October. This is the common true katydid that makes that loud call. Its scientific name is Terophila camelifolia, and it's the true katydid. It's sometimes called the northern true katydid or the rough-winged katydid. There are a lot of other katydids and katydid-like species, but this is the one that makes the katydid, katydid, katydidn't call. The true katydid is identified by the hump-like cup formed by its wings that are folded over the abdomen and the many prominent wing veins and how they look just like a leaf. If you look closely at them, the way the veins run and the color of the wing covers look just like a leaf. And of course, that's their main defense. These are large insects. They're really good-sized insects. And then they have these fascinating eyes. Look at the eyes on this one and how they look around. So their main defense is to look like a leaf and they will hang in trees and on twigs and move in the wind just like a leaf would. They're rarely seen because they're often in the treetops and you'll hear them on those hot summer nights. And it's the males that are making this sound by process called stridulation. Insects make these loud sounds by stridulation by rubbing their wings against their body parts. The other insects that are making the racket up there are also the annual cicadas. And there's a variety of cicadas as well with different calls. Katie did. Will overwinter as eggs. The males and females will gradually die out and die in the frost. But the eggs are laid after mating in loose bark or in the stems of trees in little grooves. There's one brood per year, and the both sexes will actually stridulate, but the males do it more loudly. While they seem to have big wings, what you're looking at on the outside of the Katie did is actually its wing covers, and they're very very, very poor flyers. They will prefer to hop and crawl. And so it's kind of easy to film this one. Of course, what is not easy is filming an insect live in the tree, trying to keep the focus consistent on it while the wind is moving all the leaves and the insect itself is moving. Katydids are sometimes confused with grasshoppers, but look at how long the antenna is on these katydids. They have antenna that are much, much longer. Grasshoppers have relatively short antenna, and these antenna can be two, two and a half times the length of the katydid's body. I actually found the katydid on the screen of my door out back. So just like the name of my channel, Nature at Your Door, I really do find many of my subjects for my channel at my door. This particular one was found by a friend of mine where I put a plea out on Facebook saying I wanted to have a common true katydid for my channel. And a friend of mine came through and captured it for me. And this is the one that I'm using to make my video today. Another interesting note is the song of the katydid is temperature dependent. The warm 
warmer the temperature, the faster the sound. And there's different populations or subspecies of the katydids, and they may have two or three or four pulsed songs. The southeastern populations are characterized with a faster song with more pulses per phrase and often heard in large synchronized choruses, which make them sound really, really loud. In contrast, a one or two pulse song is characteristic of southwestern populations of the true katydid. These nearly flightless common true katydids often walk or run or hop around in the canopy of deciduous trees feeding on the foliage. This one I put out on the ash tree next to my house and he soon settled in and started eating. And eat he did. And it was really fascinating watching him chew on the leaves and trying to get a good close-up video of him doing that. And you can see how much a chunk of a leaf he took out. Now, katydids don't occur in numbers great enough to have any negative impact on tree species. You don't have to worry about infestations of katydids. They're part of our normal balanced ecology. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode on Katie Dids and learned something about that familiar sound we all hear and get to see up close what the common true Katie did actually looks like and learn a little bit about their biology. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please give me a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. So thanks again for watching this episode on Katie Dids here at Nature at Your Door.